The Independent National Electoral Commission has urged political parties who have not uploaded their nominations to do so before the date expires. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission disclosed this in Abuja on Tuesday at the Commission's quarterly consultative meeting with political parties, stating that only six parties participating in the Edo State Governorship election have so far uploaded their nominated candidates into the Commission's portal two weeks after the portal was opened. Recall that INEC had announced the opening of the portal from the uploading or for the uploading uploading of party nominations, which was billed to commence on 4th of March 2024 and automatically shut down at 6 p.m. on Saturday, 24th of March 2024. On the off-cycle elections in Ondo, he hinted that the party primaries will start on the 6th of April 2024 and end on 27th of April 2024. The INEC chairman says 16 out of 19 political parties have so far indicated interest to participate in the Ondo election. For the Ondo State Governorship election, party primaries begin in the next two weeks, on 6 April 2024, and ends three weeks later, on 27th April 2024. So far, 16 political parties out of 19 have indicated interest in participating in the election. I urge political parties to adhere strictly to your proposed dates and modes of primaries. Frequent changes, as we witnessed recently during the Edo primaries, are not only disruptive but costly. The Commission cannot mobilize, demobilize, and remobilize our officials for the monitoring of party primaries for the convenience of political parties. Parties should stick to their proposed dates and modes of primaries for certainty and optimal deployment of resources. In his response, the chairman of the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, Yusuf Dantal, says party leaders will ensure that the conducts of the forthcoming Edo and Ondo governorship elections meet the expectations of Nigerians and the international community. We will live up to its mandate to ensure an environment conducive for the conduct of successful elections. Accordingly, IPAC will set up a constitution, a constitution and electoral act amendment committee to review to review glaring irregularities in recent elections and make proposals to the national assemblies in its ongoing constitution and electoral amendments act amendments. In this regard, IPAC will be proactive to ensure that the Edo and Ondo state gubernatorial elections meet the expectations of Nigeria and international community. So there should be no excuse for poor performance. IPAC will constantly engage INEC as usual and major stakeholders to ensure the success of the elections and will be there for mobilization and voter sensitization uh, monitoring of the polls as usual. But I expect that uh, the commission will do the needful as we have always done before. Thank you.